Hall's the Phantom here, and I am unboxing my Talon Fighter. Now, I have an original Talon Fighter, but uh, it's missing some parts, such as the base that connects the actual fighter to the green part, this brown bar, and I'm missing the left wing and the uh, satellite. So I decided to go ahead and get another one. Uh, what's interesting is that I purchased one, and I got two of them from Amazon. So whoever put it up for sale didn't even bother to open the package and remove the second Talon fighter from the original package that came from China. And so they basically charged me for one Talon fighter and I got two, which is really cool. Even though this box is a little bit damaged, I knew I was going to go ahead and unbox one of them anyway. And uh, I'm kind of thinking about doing a squad of Talon fighters. So let me show you my original one here. It's So this is my original Talon fighter. It's all dusty and it's missing a wing and it's missing the satellite dish and doesn't have the perch, but still functional. Um, still fits the two. It's that design in it. Very cool, right? So we're gonna open up the new one and uh, let me see where we wanna open this up at. I guess it just kinda comes off right here. Maybe I don't need to have a knife, or a blade, rather. There's some little bit of, there we go. Just a little bit of stuff there. Looks like there's another one at the top of the package. So I'm unboxing it from here. Make sure I don't cut myself. It's always good to have good safe etiquette whenever you're using any kind of blade. So I'll put this away real quick. And then I'll slide this out. Beautiful artwork on the box. Love it. Really makes me feel like a kid again. Point Dread and the Talon Fighter. There's the Rotan. Beast Man, Merman, Skeletor, Zodak, one of the palace guards. It could be Man at Arms. That's the wave that it came with. Slammy Rye, pretty cool. King Randor out of the DC Comics. Snake Face, Snake Tila, Snake Trooper, and Dragon Blaster Skeletor. You can set it up as a base. Or you can set it up as the Talon Fighter. Here we got the... With the mighty Talon Fighter perched atop its eldritch arc, the mysterious Point Dread traveled through time and space before Sorceress merged it to Castle Grayskull. Stratos, Tila, He-Man, Lord Skeletor and the Rotan. Love it. Eventually I'll get better at doing these, but I'm going to keep doing them to do them. So looks like it comes with instructions here. Instructions for that. I'm just going to oh, this is a bigger piece, I think. Let me see if it'll fit. The answer is no. The original one, maybe? Yeah, it actually does fit. It's pretty cool. So, let's see. This is one of the parts that I'm missing. Will it fit on the original one? Mm, no. It will not be a different mold. So we've got this piece is completely different from the original. Two legs. Packaging. Here is the new Talon fighter. Well, look at that. Let's compare it to the other one here. So this, you got this. Two different molds. Got handholds that's different. It's a little bit bigger, though it feels about the same. I think there's a small percentage bigger, and the blue parts are bigger. And you actually have a plexiglass shield to keep them safe. The stickers are a little different, but mostly the same. Huh. Different color in there. Sticker versus this sticker. Oh, well, different noses. 
Nice. So, of course, they'll probably fit two characters. Looks like they got two wings. So, I expect that this left wing will not fit my missing one. It does not. They're two different completely molds. Got bases. So looks like I've got the base here. I think that's kind of cool. Like, they show in the picture of the ride that you can actually put this little saucer thing on here. Um, radar dish. Make a little radar dish type place. And then we've got this fish. It's a little bit brighter, I think, than the original. The original one is a little bit more dull. Let me grab it real quick. So this one, has, the original one has more black paint to it. It looks darker. Don't think they're the same size at all. I think the original one's actually a little bit bigger. So it's a hex design on the new one. The old one's just a circular design. So does that mean that this will work on the old one? Maybe? Not really. Doesn't really fit. Doesn't grip in. Interesting. That one's all dusty, but I kind of like the darker feel for it because, you know, it's more classic. So, let me see to the side, put the base on this, just like this, mm, does, does it really snap on here, I think it does, see it's got these grooves right here, oh, not yet, maybe if I set it down and then snap it together, yeah there we go, put on the perch next, Looks like they're interchangeable. I could have put this on there. Um, actually, I'd have to put it on before this. On the wings. There we go. There we go. It's wider. It's bigger. They have the hand. This thing is more detachable. In the original one, you would have it on there and sit just normally, but in this one it appears that you just. It actually makes it go down, so you have to take this thing off maybe to display it. But let me see. Put on the perch, all right? Problem is the base doesn't seem to snap in very well. Maybe I just need to line it up better. There we go. This thing is tall. It's really tall. I'm surprised at how tall it is. It's much taller than I thought it would be. So. Very cool. There we go. Nice. So how are you supposed to open it easily? Guess so. I don't know. I have to mess around with it. All right. Let me hit pause. So here I have Talon Fighter next to Eternia. I'm trying to do this one-handed. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it up on the top here. So do I have enough space? I do believe I do. So let me go ahead and move Superman down. And then put it here. Maybe put Buzz Off's got wings. Maybe put Roboto up here. Will he fit? No, nope, apparently not. So it doesn't look like this space is very big. But let's see how well it looks. On top of a turning. Not bad. Not 
bad at all.